Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a very very interesting and very cool AI tools. And maybe that's going to be useful for you as a developer. So without any further ado, let's get started the session. So of course you have heard it. Like AI here for our business. AI will eliminate programming competition. Or AI will destroy the world of software developers, but will it? So let's talk about it. So you all have seen this new chat GPT thing. It looks like a cloud all over the internet, especially in my feed and DMs. And I get a lot of questions. I see a lot of attention, excitement, and honestly, after playing it, I began to understand why. Some examples, I have seen nuts crazy things, like changing the PHP application to Next.js by just pasting the code and telling it to chat GPT to do it. I had a great experience, but I also had a great experience with the copilot. I think many of these tools will change the way we do development. But I don't think they will eliminate the need for developers though. So let's see some of what chat GPT can do some of how I use Copilot, and see why it's so fun. So here let's say, write JavaScript code, that generates the Fibonacci sequence. So as you can see, here are some codes, that generate the Fibonacci sequence, as well as, how to use it, and one of the most special things is that, it gives you an in-depth explanation why. And it does each of these things and details them. Now, in terms of what I do every day. For example, I have to go and re-edit the navigation bar on my website with Tailwind and React. So, create a navigation header for a web page using React, TypeScript, and Tailwind. The header should have three links, one for home, one for blog, and one for the about page. Let's start with it. Okay, so there's even an SVG. It's so tempting to use this header. For the home page, you can just import it into the shelf component. It's nuts. So now, we will drop this into the program and see how it looks. So, create a T3 app template with only Tailwind and here going to pass it in. Insert a new header component. We will install it here. Hence the title. It actually looks great. I honestly didn't think it would look that good. But what about more specific, such as math or domain problems? What about things like advent of code? So let's jump into the advent code on the first day and see if that solves the problem. So let's say we create some JavaScript code that can complete the following prompt. Okay, let's look at this code. Sample list of calories. So this is a sample list. I think it has 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Max calories, max elf, for let i 0, and i less than calories dot length. So it sums them up, and if it is high, it determines the maximum number of calories. Very nice. Now let s actually take my test input and put in here. So now, generate an answer to the prompt with the following input. So 67,584, is that right? No. I will just tell you that for Advent Day 1, it is absolutely impossible for me to find some kind of answer for the arrival of the second day of the code. And I want to show you how other tools, especially Copilot, can help me to deliver faster solutions as a developer. So here is the problem. You are given a list of numbers. How many are divided into groups? Or you are supposed to be the sum of some numbers. So you have to split them and find out what is the maximum sum of one of the groups. So const input equals not smart enough to autocomplete for me. Look at that. So do the same in the next place. So the answer lies in this code base which will give you a slight technical advantage. But I just want to say that if I do advent code 
and I do this task, and I can actually complete the task so quickly, that I was in the top 200, in the world. This is because Copilot, that on the hottest day, of the arrival of the advent code, Copilot. I'm going to change everything, and rebuild from scratch. So I can show you, how quickly, the Copilot experience will get me moving. So first I need the input. So cost, input, equals, and it will automatically complete the await for that. Then const, grouped, e equals input.split. Now I have two groups, so const, so our group sums, equals. That's not true, but I can do, a lot from here. Instead of the answer, maybe I will change it, to const, numbers equals. Perfect. And then, return number.reduce. Now I have the group sums. Const max, equals. Here I forgot to close this. Console.log, max, and if I have done this right, I have already the terminal running. So we are there. The answer is 7, 2, 0, 1, 7. So that let me solve that insanely quick. Now let's go into part 2 now though. Okay, we actually need the top 3 elves. That's annoying. But thankfully I have this list. So cons. Top 3 equals. Look at that. Const sum. Equals. And then sum. And if I did that correctly. There's the answer. And if I look here. That is the answer I put there. As you can see. The skill of copilot. Isn't necessarily knowing what code is right or wrong. Although when I got tripped up here during the group sums part, that definitely helped. The real trick is knowing how to translate what you're looking for into code keys that Copilot is smart enough to then fill from there. It still requires being clever, but in a different way. I'm not writing clever code. I am solving this problem in a clever fashion by giving good names and keywords to Copilot to then generate code more effectively. Like when I say cons top 3, that's a good hint for Copilot, to know it needs to generate something based on that. Or here when it was trying to do something weird, with like the strings, and sets. But I wanted numbers, I deleted the code, and wrote const numbers, and then it was able to do this correctly. Those are the tricks, that make something like Copilot so powerful, where something like chat GPT. Almost inverses the dynamic where the code is wrong, and then you have to explain to chat GPT, how it's wrong, and how it should change things, and how it could improve from there. Copilot, almost feels like mini Google searches, as I'm coding, and if it doesn't have the immediate right result, I can change the search slightly, and then if it does, I apply it. I really like how Copilot shortens the feedback loop as a developer, but I'm also really fascinated with how something like ChatGPT fundamentally changes where the code comes from in the first place. So these tools are very interesting, but both require you as a developer, both to understand the code that's being generated, and also be, to be frank, very careful when you apply that code, because it might seem like it's doing the right thing, and it just isn't. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.